Oh. My table is um it's not organized, so I have a lot of things. Um, <laughs> <so. laughs> it's glad that you're not seeing it because right now it's like it's not minimalist. Yeah, right it, it's it's the it's the illusion. You know, we had the bookshelf behind you. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, if you saw if you saw my desk where this is at, it's well, I it's probably not as cluttered as yours right now, but there is it is clutter as mine. You haven't involved. seen mine. You don't know how <laughs> mine is, so you're assuming. Yeah, there's, but... there's a level of um disorganization to it that I I want to work on but you know sometimes I, I just it's like well I'll just I'll just go with it the way it is it's fine <laughs> mine is too many books open mm. and too many notebooks because I use several notebooks and so yeah so it's like okay I think I need to close some of those books so, so you have you have uh like several different notebooks you use for different purposes right Sort of. Sometimes it ended up, yes, I have, um, like right now I'm talking, I have this where I write some of my 2023 goals. This is a, a journal where I talk, I write more about my, my document. Uh -huh. And then I have on the same desk, you know, this that has to go with Landmark. Mm -hmm. I have notes on being and I have coaching resources and I have like yeah wow. all of it and then I have I was just reading something with Esther Pearl so I have this big thing am I writing on it too and then it's all in my on my desk and I have my um sketch planner so yeah planner. so so what do you do have, if mm -hmm. you have let's say you have something you want to write down in one of your, let's say in your coaching resources journal, and you don't have that journal handy, what do you do then? Well, the only place I work mainly is in my office here. So, so, so it's always, it's always out. It's always here. Yeah, it's always it's here. Within. Okay. And okay. sometimes I just write on any notes and then on that coaching resource, I just try to put the main ideas um, so I can go come back to it and write something that I was writing, for example, in my, you know, regular journaling or a book that I'm reading, or, um, I don't know, something you send me. So mm -hmm. it's just, this is like, just like, um, um, just the ideas, you know, it's like just the, the resources, you know, the main ideas that I try mm -hmm. to put everything together in here, but it's not, I mean, it's not a exact science. Yeah, so. yeah. And I did receive this from the oh, awesome. uh, thank you yeah, yeah. <clears throat> actually two days ago and i want i was going <clears throat> to um to tell you but i forgot so this is a new american new and american bible and it, bible found, uh, it, it came Sunday. into my life and uh, it needed a home with sabelle so, so yes uh, and i have like maybe 20 different mm -hmm. bibles and so when james told me that he found this mm -hmm. and that you know, he was going to get rid of it once he was done. I'm like, well, I think I will want it. Yeah, um, yeah. I have, I have my. I think, oh, I, think I showed a, you my uh, Bible, the Bible designed to be read as living literature, mm -hmm. and that and that's the is, one I'm, I keep. I think it's a Catholic Bible because it has yes. Maccabees. I don't have that in yep. my Bible. Yep. Because I am Christian, so. Yeah, I remember when I got it. I I researched. Well, where, where does the New American Bible come from? And it's the only. English version of the Bible that's approved for use in the in the Catholic Mass in English oh, wow. countries. So, so yeah, it's very big. special that way. Yeah. So thank you. I and mean, and that one has that was a red letter edition, right? So the, the words of Christ are in red. Are red. Yeah. Let I me know. see. I go into the Book of John where oh, see Tobit. I don't know Tobit. I know Esther. So this Sirach, I don't know it. So this is gonna be. Uh, my, you know, my recitation with the boy Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John act in the book of. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Then, then you story. have to, you have to yeah, add the. Uh... It's a red letter Bible. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, anyway, so a... thank you, thank you for that. Oh, you bet. Yeah, when when I was a uh, kid, we had um. There's a Mormon hymn called "Hail to the Prophet." Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty catchy chant. <laughs> and and so in a Sunday school class that actually my dad taught this class, there was a song as part of the, the LDS curriculum that, that you could sing that was a suggested song that had all of the books of the New Testament. Okay. 
And so you sang them to the the tune of this of this song, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And John X, and the Romans, first and second, and, and that that's you like, know Second Corinthians. <laughs> yeah so that's so, good although, although, and you yeah, never forget those things right you never forget them right right no matter no matter how hard you you try it's it's lodged i mean lodged you don't try to sure. but yeah, yeah why not it's um it's we talked about it at the very very beginning um the some things that i've learned i've when i was little especially the the, the cartoons uh -huh. um there will be like uh the song at the beginning will be like beautiful lyrics and I still sing, sing, sing them like uh, Tom Sawyer, you know, from Jules um or the. Oh, that's right. That's right. It was a, like a Tom Sawyer cartoon. Tom Sawyer. There, there yeah. is a Le Tour du Monde en 80 jours, Around the World in 80 Days. Mm -hmm. And uh, Les Trois Mousquetaires, D'Artagnan. Yeah. You know? And so, yeah. so it's the, we call it the generic, like the, you know, the beginning. So we would hear it, you know playing and then we will run to the living room yes. and sit down and yeah. watch it yes yeah and i still sing those things yeah so yeah. that's fun yeah there were um a couple of tv series that i would only watch the beginning because i wanted to hear the theme song and i wouldn't i wouldn't yeah the watch, theme watch song it. you would yeah. call it okay yeah, it, so the, like the young i think we talked about young and restless young and restless oh yeah dun, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. <laughs> i know that one <laughs> yeah and uh, uh the hawaii 50 i don't know if you I know, don't know that, that it's, it's it's a crime drama set in um honolulu and, okay. and da, 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 so you might you you probably heard the the song maybe a little uh, what i remember song. very well is uh dynasty or dallas last i remember that was like a, a mess like a you know a service that was wow it was sundays at 9 p.m yeah the whole family will be sitting. And you know, that's what I am thinking about. I watched those things, Dallas Dynasty, mm -hmm. when I was super young and we, yeah. I would watch it with the whole family. Mm -hmm. And now I wouldn't wa want to watch Dallas or Dynasty with my kids because there were so many enough. Yeah, there's a, things. you know, it's kind of scandalous. Oh, yeah, scandalous, yeah. you know, yeah. sex and, and, and killing and lying and, yeah. And I was watching that with my family, you know, and there was nothing wrong with it. That's sunny. Anyway, and I yeah, didn't. A, <laughs> the tradition of it's just like the whole family gathers around. It's like, um, I, I like to use the uh, the analogy of, you know, I will, obviously wasn't alive when when Franklin Delano Roosevelt, uh, the president of the United States, had his fireside chats and is one of the first uses by a politician of radio. Right. Uh -huh. And so everybody would gather around the radio for the fireside uh -huh. chats and, yeah. and then we'd gather around. I don't think we watched Dallas in our household, but we would we would watch. Um, I'm trying to remember what we all watched together, like uh, I think the Love Boat and Fantasy Island and the, the Saturday night, the Saturday night um, series and the Carol there Burnett is. show. You know, yeah, we'd, we'd watch all those. <laughs> all right, there was we, mm -hmm. what, what I what I think is fascinating as well is like I'm Right now, as we're recording this, I'm looking at our Zoom chat window, and it's on a 27-inch monitor, right? It's a very high-resolution monitor. And when we were kids, a 25-inch color TV, that was the, we didn't even have one. That was, we had a 19 inch color TV <laughs> and we're all, we're all crowded around this like tiny the screen, like, box, right? Like, yes. We're all crowded around the box and everybody's staring at it and you have to make sure you're not sitting in somebody else's ways. So yes. you your view <laughs> and yeah, everybody has to be very quiet. It so would be far the there power. and then we'd all be sitting around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, um, the world has evolved, <laughs> right? Mm. <laughs> Well, now, and now, now everyone everybody... has, there are so many screens now. It's yes. not just one screen. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Everybody has their own personal screen and their computer screen and their pocket a, screen a their Yeah. yeah it's a different, different kind of Couch world screen. Now. And yeah, like huge screen in their living room. And so my brother, one of my brothers in France, he has a master's in socio sociology. And at that time it was in France, what he was studying. And is that, you know, the, the level of, um, um um education by the size of the tv of the people right those mm -hmm. who were very educated 
had like a small TV because I didn't have time to consume TV oh, that that's interesting. for entertainment at that time. They would yeah. spend more time reading, going to the theater, you know, going out for education purposes. And those who weren't educated, you know, had this giant TV <laughs> to watch soccer um, or, you know, those entertaining things. And now we know that TV has an educational, can have an educational purpose too. Yeah. But at that time, I remember he went one of his uh, master's degrees. My brother has like five master's degrees. He's just, uh, he likes to learn. And yeah, so I remember that was... Uh, that was interesting to me that the people who are educated don't spend a lot of time watching yeah, TV. So the, the smaller the screen, the bigger the brain. Is what we're... <laughs> we know that it's not the size of the brain, but yes, I guess you could say that. And I don't think that is true today, but at that time where he was writing his um, paper, like at the his master's paper thesis, it was that, you know. Mm. Yeah. Would you say that it's true today? Maybe, probably mm. not. I don't know. I was just thinking about when when uh, Corvo and I moved into this apartment. One of the things we bought was a uh, a TV. We bought it, what a big. It was like a forty five inch. Uh, so I guess it's not big by today's standards, but we had it in the living room. And I finally said, "Okay, well that's it. You know, if if you want it, it's going to go in your room because I couldn't, mm-hmm. I couldn't function with it with it going all the time. It, it just oh yeah because I I think I." What I'd like to tell people is, well, you know, I'm, I'm 57 years old now, and I think I've had my fill of TV. I, <laughs> I, I you know, when I was growing up and into my um, early 30s, and, and then when I was married, for, first part of, you know, watching the the DVDs with with Corvo as, as she was growing up. So I've, I, I think I've, even though nowadays there's more TV and probably more good television out there than ever before and you you have your choice as to when you want to watch it it's all on demand yeah, and you choose what to what to watch there's like in the in infinite choice an infinite choice of possibilities and but i it's just like well i don't know so, sometimes i think about like i was thinking today well you know it's it's like a, the day before new year's and it's kind of a downtime and maybe i should curl up <laughs> and, and and watch it and watch a movie and then i think well there's not really a movie i i want to watch there 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 have been a couple i've watched this year in theaters but that but there's not really one i want to sit down and, and i watched the game of thrones you know and that's done so there's there's nothing that i i want to watch now okay that's funny yeah. for me tv is different like i uh, also grew up with tv on but tv was um the program would start when i was little maybe at five mm-hmm. and then ends at 11 or not or you know 12 12 a.m um and then it started getting longer and longer and then we had the cable you know we had canal plus canal horizon so you could have tv um it, it, it doesn't stop yeah and i remember when i went to college um i was um living alone and i would put i would keep the tv on when going to bed because I would be oh, I was alone in my apartment. And so I was kind of afraid to be alone in the dark. So mm-hmm. I would uh, keep the TV on or the radio. So I always had the TV with me and I would be watching, you know, some things were like Saturday evening, I would be watching TV and there were some programs that I was looking forward to. Mm-hmm. And then I got married and, you know, started working, traveling, wouldn't watch a lot of TV but still would have our favorite shows that we would watch together or, and then I stopped altogether watching TV in 2012 uh-huh. when I became a Christian. Um, not because, you know, Christianity, Christians don't watch TV, they do, but uh-huh. I personally felt convicted or, and I felt like I didn't want to uh, consume things that were not um things that were honoring to the Lord, I used to say. Like I my favorite right. show, one of my favorite shows used to be Scandal. And Scandal was uh, you know, with uh, Kerry Washington. She's this, you know, beautiful African American. And she was um having an in the in the the TV shows it's scandal because she's having an affair with the president of the United States. Uh, and <laughs> the whole the series it, like it was amazing. I loved it. I watched it and you know there was all of it murder, like a lot of sex and everything, you know, all the bad things. Yeah. 
And then I was like, well, this is what I'm nourishing my head with. Oh, that's interesting. So you made that's a conscious a conscious yeah. decision that you didn't want to feed your brain with with that sort of stuff. Exactly. Anymore. And yeah. then from, you know, I stopped watching TV and we didn't even have a TV. And to this day, we don't have the cable and stuff. So I don't, TV is not part. That's not the biggest thing that you will see in my home. Mm -hmm. um, and for years, I wouldn't, you know, it was in the basement. Now yeah. it's up uh, because I think <laughs> I don't want my kids to like hate me when they grow up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we have, um, we don't have the cable, but they have, Disney Channel, Disney something. Yeah, Disney, yeah, Disney Channel, and, uh, and, and of course Netflix. Everybody. We have don't have Netflix. We have it on and off because, well, what I notice is that we my kids are not used to it. But when we they, we have Netflix, they they can spend a lot of time watching it. Yeah. And I still believe that it's just like the internet itself. It's not something that that it's something that you have to be very strict and rigorous and self um, regulated. Yeah, and it's hard because it's it, it can be just, really it can be really yeah. addictive. I, I did have a subscription to Disney Channel last year for a month because I wanted to watch the Beatles movie that, that came oh, out. Oh, Disney that was, Channel? That was, they have the Beatles movie. Oh. Yeah, I, I think it's probably still on the Disney Channel. It, I don't know if that's something your kids. Let me know, to then I can watch that. I want to. Um, I I thought. <laughs> that it was fascinating just because first of all the technical achievement they had all of this all of no, this film good. footage and <clears throat> they went in um 1970 or 1971 somebody went and did a movie out of it the original filmmaker did a movie but it wasn't that great and they took it and they reconfigured it and they cleaned up the audio so you could hear the dialogue really well but what i really loved about it was just all of the scenes where you see the Beatles in rehearsal mm. and, and then you know why they were so good is because so good, they, were, yeah. they were playing together all the time. And this had been, by the time right this was the filmed, end. they'd been playing together as a band for 10 years. And um, it's just, you know, somebody would get an idea and another person would join in and then they'd have it. And then you, you'd see them crafted over time. You might not see the whole sequence, but you could see the, the footage. Well, this is what happened. And then an hour later, here's where it was. And then an hour after that, it was a finished song that they put together. So it's just just footage of this incredible creativity in, in action. So it was worth it to watch it. But it, it is a it is a slog. It's like nine hours worth of mm. worth of wow. stuff for three separate movies. So. Wow. so it's nine hours. So you still yeah. have to have those nine hours, right? To um to give to that movie nine hours is a lot well yeah yeah but you know if you're if you're a Beatles fan <laughs> yes <like> me, yeah. <laughs> anyway yeah so tv is a tv is a big thing so anyway um yeah so what's um what are you gonna do for you the last day of the year tomorrow i'll gonna do the same thing i was doing today i'll, I'll finish my business plan i i have a couple of other things i want to um set up a couple of other reflections I want to do about just sort of setting intentions for the new year. Although I'm not sure that how much I believe in that because I always use the, the example of when I quit smoking, I, I didn't set New Year's Day as the day I quit. It was an arbitrary day. I think it was January 17th or 18th or something like that. And, and so I don't believe that, you know, change has to happen on a momentous of course. day that, that marks a, you know. A, a, I think a, people a, don't a, believe that too, but since it's, you know, it's a real shift, you know, I think it's, it's nice to, um, uh, it gives a momentum basically, yeah. but it doesn't yeah. mean that it won't work. Usually it doesn't even work. <laughs> you yeah. by January 17th, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. So yeah, I, I think of my other habits that I have now, I, um, they didn't start at, at any, they didn't start on the first day of the solstice or J January 1st or the first day of the month or, or whatever they didn't, they, there was just a random day when all of a sudden that habit started and yeah. And, and do you do of word cases, word of the year? I know some people will go more with a, a word, just a word that they will hold on to during the year. No, not really. Mm -hmm. I, I know a lot of people have talked about that, but I haven't really. Yeah, I don't do that either. One or anything. Although, what could I? Um, I, I, I've been talking about office hours. We've talked about office hours. So office mm -hmm. hours and doing 
working hours and holding and holding it that. So maybe scheduling is my word. Yeah, there are or, some or honoring my things. scheduling. Honoring your schedule. That's good. That's the thing that I will I will share tomorrow. I, I'm having a small party at my house. I am inv invited to a party, but with a lot of people. And since I have a small daughter, I, I prefer that, you know, she sleeps in her bed. So uh -huh. I'll be around. And so I have uh, uh, friends who are coming. So we're going to have a small party here. And you're going to stay up until till midnight. You're going to stay mm -hmm. up all the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to dress up and then eat nice. and then play games. I like games. Um and there are three, I was listening to a podcast and there are three things like um, questions that I will take everyone through um, uh -huh. just to kind of, I'll share them tomorrow. I'll um, make sure I have them. And I think that's a fun thing to do. And yeah, maybe tomorrow we can talk about our plans for 2023. Our plans, our plans for, you know, it's, everybody makes the plans and yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, All right. What, what number is, is it going to be tomorrow? It will be 96 tomorrow. Okay. 96. And um, yeah, so we'll hit 100 Thursday of next week. Okay. So wow. there you go. There you okay. go. That's, that's kind of crazy. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us. Thank nice you afternoon. so much. See, see you tomorrow. We'll see you soon. All right. Let's see. There we go. Up there. Where?